juveniles who do things like this, there's underlying problems that need to be taken care of, whether it be mental health, uh, abuse, neglect. A Wadena, Minnesota family is breathing a sigh of relief after worrying for days about their runaway teen. Thanks for joining us tonight. Mike has the evening off. 14-year-old Jeffrey Randall is finally on his way home after stealing his grandfather's pickup and running away. He was found this afternoon in Kansas City, Missouri, by police driving hundreds of miles without a license. Thankfully, Randall's not hurt, but the stolen pickup is most likely a total loss. His grandfather tells us Randall backed into another driver, and the pickup looks like it's been through a derby. The Otter Till Sheriff's Department tells us they are still investigating and wouldn't say if Randall's going to face any charges or if he had a gun with him. But as Valley News Team's crime and safety reporter Nicole Johnson shows us, it's not Randall's first time putting his family through so much worry. I love him dearly. It's like a hole is missing in my heart and my soul right now. And I am trying to stay so strong for the fact that I have to be strong for him. Angela Randall has been looking out her window, hoping her 14-year-old son, Jeffrey, will show up. But that's not reality. She hasn't seen him in years. <laughs> Jeffrey's grandfather has custody of him now following family issues. But that doesn't change the fact Angela is worried sick. Being 14 years old, you know, I asked him last time, I said, how, you, how did you drive? What did you do? And he said, well, driving was easy. It was the road signs I didn't, couldn't read. So maybe he doesn't even know where he's at. And I just wanted people to know that he's a very loving, caring, awesome child. Jeffrey has run away in the past, and even though he's been found both times, Angela is hoping he'll get help somehow instead of punishment. He's already got a felony for the last time that he took a vehicle. So now he's uh, taken another vehicle plus a firearm, which isn't good. <laughs> which isn't good, and I tried so hard to tell everybody when he was in a detention that there was something wrong in the home, that he was being isolated, he was being abused verbally, if not physically, and nobody listened. A suffering mom with a message, no matter the circumstance, every child is worth fighting for. Nicole Johnson, Valley News Live. Jeffrey's mom says the pain of a runaway teen is unimaginable and wishes more could be done. Coming up tonight on Valley News Live 10 at 10, hear from authorities about how difficult it is to track runaways and what parents should do to protect themselves and their